Well, here we are. I went to the my supply store to buy the crown mold and I couldn't get delivery for a couple days out. So I had them cut it and now I have my crown mold same day. Let's hope they cut the size that I think I need. And I just didn't waste my time having all this crown mold here. You're a nice passenger and all, but you need to go work. Get this bunch of material on the ground up there. What am I talking about? I have a bunch of crumb mold here. Oops. I got a bunch of crumb mold and they gotta go in each rectangle here. I wanna say squares, but they're not squares. Normally I'll cut the crumb mold in the ceiling, but in the last project I did, I cut the crumb mold. I put it together on the flooring and then I install it. It worked out. So I think I'll do the same thing. I'll cut it, build it on the floor, and then install it as one. Let's see how this works because now it's much bigger. Let's see if it works. Okay, the technique is definitely working, but I don't like this piece. Now, for one, I have a nail poking out, and that's minor. But on this side, piece broke off. I could just glue it back, but I don't like it. So, that's the end of that. And, I think I cut short on this side. Like it's a little bit short. So, I don't like it. The technique is working. So let's take this piece down, scrap it, make a new one, start from scratch.
Okay, take two. Let's see what happens now. Are you any better? How did I make you worse? big this one was until I built it on the ground not because I could have built it up there and there was no need but we'll try to get it in there let's see if we could get this bad boy up there Don't want it to tighten, then uh, then slide it over. 
That's something different. We built it on the floor. And now let's see if we can get it up. Let's see if we can get it up there in one piece without breaking it.
right, this is all done. Looks very nice, I might say. So now I will go around and do some caulking and then we will get back into installing hardwood floors. <laughs> 